Hey, I'm John Cristani. I'm an entrepreneur. And in this video, I'm going to go over the eight key differences between poor and rich people in terms of their mentality, which is the most important thing that you can have if you want to become successful. Stay tuned and I'm going to explain all of the key differences to help you on that path to success if you're with me. Money ain't that bad, right? Well, unfortunately, there are a lot of people who think it is. And in this video, I'm going to go over the mindset differences, the poor versus the rich. But it's important for you to understand, and I don't say this to brag, but I've made tens of millions of dollars in my business. And I earn in the top 1% of people in the United States for years. I became a millionaire in my 20s and I run a business that does roughly $7 million per year without any employees. So I'm, I say that not to impress you, but to speak, hope you understand that I'm speaking from a place of some experience, not as much as most and not where I want to be, but hopefully I can convey a little bit of information to you about the differences between poor versus rich that you may not be learning in colleges. And obviously, Money ain't that bad, so let's not get too caught up in it. Let's get our minds straight. Now, first thing to understand is poor people react. Poor people react to the notifications on their phone. Poor people react to the requests of others. Reacting to others will leave you in a cycle where you never fully define yourself. Rich people make others react to them. So that's the important thing to understand between these two. Now, for me, I realized that this was causing me to, it was taking up a lot of my time. And I actually turned off all notifications on my phone. I deleted social media apps from my phone. I get a text message, nothing happens. That little light, it doesn't blink. The buzzer, it never goes off. When somebody calls me, it never rings. When somebody calls me, that blinky light never lights up because I've made it so that I am never reacting to others. Others only react to me. And when I need to check my text messages or my emails, I go on my phone when I choose as opposed to others telling me where my mind should go. The next key distinction between poor versus rich mentality is that poor people give advice. You may have heard of the old adage, we have two ears and one mouth, and that holds true for anything in life. You should be always be a better listener than you are an advice giver. Whenever I'm around people, I ask questions. Whenever I go in a Lyft cab or an Uber, I sit in the front seat and I ask that person about what is the local economy like? What is your culture like? What is the country you're from like? I ask a million questions, but I never offer advice. That's how you train your brain. That's how you learn. Giving advice doesn't serve you. So the next thing to understand is poor people watch, whereas wealthy people read. I don't know how to explain this other than you're going to get more knowledge from books and watching TV and doing passive kind of passive kind of entertainment methods or outlets is not a way to train your brain to learn more. It's not a way to train your imagination to think of creative or original thoughts. Watching just allows you to experience life vicariously, whereas reading allows you to create you know, it forces your imagination to open up. It forces your mind to think on a higher level, whereas the TV forces you to tune down and turn down your energy. Have you ever tried to talk to somebody who's been watching TV for an hour and they're like this and you try to say something to them, but they don't hear you? It's because your brain literally shuts down while you're watching screens or movies. You can't process things. You're literally dumbing yourself down for a while instead of forcing yourself to think up. 
by reading books. I read a lot of books. I read a lot of science fiction books. I read a lot of business books to always learn more. I read a lot of relationship books to help my relationship too. The next thing to understand about poor versus rich is that poor people trade time for money, whereas rich people trade results for money. Now, Elon Musk, for instance, will get paid $2.3 billion over the next couple years, not because he was paid a high hourly wage, not because he was paid a high monthly salary. It is because his stock goes up, because he sold more Teslas than his stockholders thought he would. I don't make my money because I charge people a high hourly wage to hire me to do marketing for them. I make my money because I get results for companies. I make more sales for them. I send them more customers and they pay me more commissions for my marketing efforts. A normal company wouldn't pay somebody $1,000 an hour, but that's what I make on average a day. A normal company, but they will pay me to bring them results. If I create for them $16,000 a day worth of business, they will happily pay me half of that because I created that and I can also turn it off for them at any point if I wish to. Have you ever heard the old adage, a penny saved is a penny earned? It's still a freaking penny <laughs> and you're not gonna make money if you're focused on saving every single penny or nickel or dime that you make. That's a good way to stay poor. A good way to become rich is to earn, to focus on earning rather than saving. And frankly, when you don't have to worry about saving every dime, life is a lot more fun and you get a lot more freedom to do the things that you like. Now I shoot this money gun up because, well first off it's fun, but it also is to show you that a lot of people will hate on this. A lot of people think that this is crude and you shouldn't treat money like that, frankly. But the difference between poor versus rich mentality is that poor people think money is evil, that it's not good to have too much money, that you shouldn't put it in people's faces or you shouldn't do fancy things, you shouldn't buy a Lamborghini. Don't tell people about that yacht. Don't go on expensive trips in other people's faces. Money is not evil. Rich people think money is actually the source of good. And when you have money, you're able to actually do better things. Whether that's, you know, for me it's being able to hire a nanny, you know, being able to hire doulas for my wife, being able to have a nice house for my family, being able to buy a horse for my daughter, being able to build a horse trail in our backyard, you know, uh, for, for, you know, for me and my daughter to ride horses on, etc. I believe money's great because it solves a lot of problems and I believe it can solve a lot of problems for other people as well. I help a lot of people that are in my inner circle and a lot of people benefit. And I've made you know, my, my students highly successful by being able to create and innovate better and better training programs for them. The next thing to understand is that poor people blame others. When something goes wrong, when the finances are bad, when the, you know, there's not, you know, there's not enough work, right? Or my boss is an asshole or, you know, business is bad, the economy's bad, Trump's killing our economy. Whatever it is, it's always outside of yourself. It's never your fault. Nothing's ever your fault. Your relationship, it's not your fault that you have a bad relationship. It's her fault or it's his fault, right? Can't be your fault. You were late, you weren't late because it was your fault. You were late because there was traffic, right? And that traffic made you late. How many people here have used the traffic excuse? And if, if, if you have used the traffic excuse, just say guilty, okay? In the comments, just go down there and write guilty if you've ever blamed the reason you were late on traffic. It wasn't traffic. You didn't plan for correctly. So if you, if you understand what I'm saying, type in guilty 
in the comments below. And frankly, if you are guilty of any of these things, type in guilty. Now, the last key difference between the poor and the rich mentality, it's the lottery versus the action mentality. Now, what this mentality is, is that something good's gonna happen to you. Eventually, you will find that thing. Eventually, you will come across that secret way to make money trading stocks, or you'll figure out that secret real estate method, or you'll come across the right internet guru, and he will have the magical system which will make everything all right, and he'll show you exactly how to step-by-step make money online. Now, the fact of the matter is, if you have a lottery mentality, no matter which teacher you decide to follow, whether it's in YouTube or life, or no matter what boss you decide to work for, you are going to severely limit yourself as chances at becoming rich. Whereas if you take the action mentality to life, you can become wealthy. Now, I want you to imagine for a second that you are completely in control of your life. That anything you wish for can happen. That anything you imagine, that you want, where you want to be, you can have. But in order to have everything you want, you need to take full responsibility for everything that goes on in your life. Is your relationship where you want it to be? It's your fault. Are your finances where you want them to be? It's your fault. And is your health exactly where you want it to be? It's your fault. Now you are completely in control of your life and you can have whatever it is you want. But to do so, you're gonna have to take control and realize that all of these things, your relationship, your finances, your health are your fault. And that's not an easy pill to swallow. It isn't, it really isn't, but it is. And once you realize that, then you're in control because now you are the responsible one. And for those of you willing to play along with me and take responsibility, I encourage you, let's look at this list again. Do you react to others? Others being your phone, your notifications, your messages, your texts, your WhatsApp, your Facebook notifications. Do you ever spend more time giving advice than asking questions? Do you ever watch more than you read? Do you ever, do you trade your time for money rather than trading your results for money? Do you focus on saving rather than earning? Now, if you're willing to play along, type in the comments if any one of those apply to you. Type in guilty. Then after guilty, type in I Whatever you commit to, I commit to not reacting to my phone or I commit to taking more action or reading more. Whatever speaks to you the most, commit to something, taking responsibility. Whatever speaks to you the most, commit to something and write it down and put it out there in the comments for others to see because it makes it more real. Now, I hope this video has helped you in hopefully a little way because, you know, as a, as a teacher and as an entrepreneur and as a marketer, it's, I feel it's my duty to help others grow as well and learn the same lessons I've learned. And if this has helped you in any way, I encourage you share this video with somebody else. Share this video on your newsfeed or your Twitter or your Instagram or whatever that may be. And subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos. I go over lots of different ways that, you know, tactics and strategies that you can you know, do marketing for a living or be an entrepreneur like I have. And give this video a big like and look forward to hopefully seeing you commit to something new in the comments. Talk to you soon.